Hello people, this is George and in today's video we will be talking about artifacts. Um, I was looking at my videos and I find out that I have not recorded a single video regarding artifacts because as a 100% free-to-play player it's really hard to prioritize something when, when it's all about chances and it's all about odds, right? We need to be lucky to get like a, even a single legend, legendary one. Uh, and I think it's better for you guys and even for me to understand which one is useful for us and which one we can be using on a different type of troops. Um, I chose to show you without tier maker because for a free to play players we don't need tier maker. We are not able to get every single artifact and try it and find out how the, how and when to use it. Right. That's why I'm have I'm I'm on the universal artifact compendium like anyone can check it with altar and i'm using just the percentages and the probability table and I, I will just tell you my personal opinion which artifacts are good uh, which one are bad and which one can be useful for a certain scenarios okay so let's start in my honest opinion one of the most important artifact for a free-to-play players is lucia's horn because it's the only artifact which is giving you overall gathering speed. Like, generally, I don't even care what it gives you, like, regarding skill. I, I think I'm sometimes using it. But overall gathering speed is very, very good. How we can get it? That's uh, one way of pulling from the temples. And second of all, we can get from how it's called dark chests right whenever you are opening chests in the field you are getting points uh, as much points you have there is higher chance of getting a legendary artifact that's how i got it personally uh, I, will, I will show you guys my let's see my artifacts as you can see there is not a lot because it's really hard to pull a pull a lot you need to be extremely lucky uh, let's continue. So we now understand which artifact is best for free-to-play players. It's overall gathering, right? Now, uh, let's go troop by troop regarding marksmen, because my main legion is marksmen, and I will tell you my opinion regarding marksmen. For marksmen, for epic tier, Herd Piercer is the main choice because it gives you a attack speed for a legion and marksman and also uh, the skill on the uh, hard purser is defense break that's pretty good uh, if you don't have a hard purser of course uh, there is a second choice it's a bone flinger it gives uh, att attack as a marksman and a legion and with a uh, damage factor on skill but for a legendary one uh, in my opinion, from right here, what we can see, what we can pull, the Shadow Blades is the best one, because it gives a damage factor, you're gonna take a less damage per additional target, so that choice is pretty obvious. Uh, that's, and I, I need to say again, it's only for free to play. So let's, let's go for a Cavalry. Cavalry has a couple of options because, in my opinion, Cavalry is for a pay-to-win players. Uh, let's go uh, for a secondary legendary one, like Solan's Blade. It's not the best one, but you can uh, actually use it. It gives uh, attack uh, damage for Cavalry units and March Speed. March Speed is good for Cavalry. Also, it has a big AOE factor damage, as you can see on this small video. But this one is not the best one. Uh, I will show you the best one is here, King Slayer. Uh, it can damage up to five enemies. And whenever we are talking about mass fights on a on Call of Dragons, when you are attacking five legions together, that's pretty good. Also, you are taking less uh, damage per additional target. So uh, as you can calculate, five enemies. For a single one, fifteen percent. That's good. Regarding epic ones, uh, there is not not much of a choice. Like anything which gonna give you uh, cavalry attack. Let's let's 
let's check it like for example blade of reproach it gives you calorie attack and that's good enough right uh, like you, you can't ask more from epic uh, artifacts regarding mages uh, mages has a good epic artifact which is magic bomb uh, it damages three enemies uh, nearby and also attack damage on the both per force uh, attributes uh, better version is here which i i have uh phoenix eye is a great one if you're gonna get a phoenix eye uh, and you are playing mages there you go you already have uh, your best combination so now you know phoenix eye is great uh what else we have for a magic one right now here is none uh ah yeah here uh, that's a tier of Arbon. That's like much defensive uh, legendary artifact for mages, because whenever you are using the skill, it heals uh, people around. Like as you can see on this small video, you're gonna put the skill of this ar artifact, and while you're fighting, you're gonna be healed. It can be pretty useful uh, in many scenarios so that's why i chose it as a second best mage uh, artifact in the game for free to play players uh, regarding infantry uh, infantry is a tricky one uh, because there is not a lot of stuff for infantry in general uh, but like let's say garrison attack burst of the forest is bad one uh, that can be good only for a rallying. Uh, that's a support artifact. So mainly for infantry, let's see. I think like Kratos Ras will be fine for infantry because you can get peacekeeping damage and you're gonna level up your heroes pretty fast. Uh, that's the only artifact shown here which I we can pull. That's why uh, I'm speaking only about this one. Uh, maybe in the future I can be I will be able to uh, record a better artifact video with the much better artifacts shown, so it will be easier for me to talk about. I will show you what I'm using now. Like my main uh, main gatherer is Pen. I I think Pen is the best gatherer, and she is holding Lucius Horn. Phoenix Eye is for Walder. Uh, I'm not mage player. Uh, Solon's Blades for Emir Cavalry. Uh, I'm using it for the quest, and uh, like, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a, a Marksman Legendary artifact, and I'm still using Heart Purser, and I, I, I'm trying to get it, but it's really, really hard. Uh, regarding artifacts, there is not a like, uh, not a one way of playing with artifacts. If anybody in the comment section will have a better advice regarding artifacts, feel free to say. I will be using, people will be using, and it will be much better if we're gonna have a discussion. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe somebody will be right, and I will change my way of playing if somebody will say, no, you're wrong, like this is better, we will double check, and if it's better, uh, I will listen. Once again, thanks for video. I hope it's easy to understand what I'm saying, uh, as English is not my main language. Uh, and once again, my videos are purely free to play. As you can see, I don't even have a Lilia for one dollar because I'm having fun playing organic way. Good luck, everybody. Bye bye.